Now, the important thing that I came to realize in the course of my life is that the Christian eschaton is something utterly different, so much so that in a sense they are antipodal. Why? The, the key is, as every Christian knows, that, or as the church fathers used to say, God became man so that man can become God. But how, hmm? who says that? The fathers. Uh, I mean, it was assumed that uh, St. Augustine or uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, they all would have agreed with that. Uh, who actually spoke these words, I'm not enough of a scholar to, but it's a formula that is accepted in Christianity uh, as orthodox. Uh, God became man so that man can become God. But to be more precise, the, the way of knowing God or seeing God that is offered to us by Christianity in contrast to the Vedantic way is that by becoming a member of the mystical body of Christ through baptism, uh, we are able to see God the Father through Christ the Son, through the incarnate Christ. Uh, Without the incarnation, there would be no such possibility. But this is why God became man, to form a bridge, as it were, between the human and the divine. And through that bridge, we can come to God the Father through God the Son, and more specifically, the incarnate Son. There is a distinction between Christ as the second person of the Holy Trinity, and Christ as we worship him in the, our churches, because what we worship and what otherwise could not really be worshipped is God in the form of man. This is a crucial point. So through Christianity, a new eschaton was given to mankind. And the interesting thing is that in Vedic days, uh, that did not exist. That became a reality when Christ was born on earth. And that is long after the Vedic period had begun. So the, the, the sadhus in India were practicing their Vedanta the, long before there was a Christianity. So that began with the birth of Christ, and it ended, it was completed with the resurrection. And we are, we are part of that, uh, we belong to that path. Our path is not the direct path, which is practiced in Vedanta. Our path is through the God-man. And incidentally, there's a wonderful passage in the Gospel of St. John, which speaks very directly to this. It is taken from the what is traditionally called the um, priestly, the high priestly prayer, it is called. So it is uh, before the Passion, when Christ went into this garden to pray, uh, he said, addressing God the Father, he said, This is life eternal, to know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ who was sent. This says it all coming from the mouth of God himself. This says it all. In other words, our approach to salvation, to the union with God, is through Jesus Christ who was sent. 
These are the actual words of Jesus. And when he says, who was sent, is a direct reference to the incarnation. In other words, there would be, there could be no Christianity, no other path to God than the Vedic, if it were not for the incarnation. It is by God becoming man that this other path was born. You just watched a clip from the Theories of Everything channel. For the full video and all its magnificence, then click here. And if you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Enjoy.